dans la libre circulation commune douane, libre circulation de la CDAO, M. Anthony, et moi, je pense avoir bien prononcé votre nom. Je vous remercie pour euh, euh, avoir, euh, dans le temps, fait votre exposé. Je ne ferai pas de commentaires parce que nous en avons assez fait. Je voudrais demander à la salle, pour ceux qui veulent intervenir, nous avons un quart d'heure pour les interventions, pour les questions ou les suggestions concernant cette question extrêmement importante à ce niveau de l'évolution du monde par rapport à tout ce qui se passe autour de nous sur le problème de migration, mais sur le problème aussi de ce qui se passe à la Méditerranée, partout en Europe, en Afrique, en Syrie, en Libye où le pourcentage d'Africains est extrêmement important. Je pense que nous avons reçu ce matin des chiffres effarants. Et il appartient à vous, il nous appartient nous, mais il vous appartient pr principalement vous, les parlementaires, porte-voix des populations de la communauté, face à l'expertise de notre exécutif régional, de pouvoir tirer les leçons, et vraiment que ce soit des leçons pratiques, possible de les réaliser. Je vous remercie. Qui est-ce qui prend la parole um, Thank you very much, um, Chair. I just want to thank uh, the parliamentarians because most of them were uh, like information and certain direction. As for the first one, the biometric ID card was envisioned to identify everybody. And that's wanted a card that can be used by everybody that is accessible, affordable, and easy to acquire for proper identification because the data issue is quite critical to our nation. Even for those at the border community, they need us to be identified. And this exactly vision that we have, the ECOWAS had for this ID. But however, you see that the ID is also being used, like the member state have asked if they can because they have optional features. I'm not presenting an ID card, I will have been. There are those that are optional features that can be used for election. I know members said that ask, right, they can give this free but also use it for election. It's also been envisioned to use for trade across the country. And let me tell you that we have, it's good to tell you that we have um, assistance from, from um, we've been offered assistance but the document is waiting for signature for five million dollars from World Bank to assist member states to be able to deploy it and this is what I, I need to say but in order sovereign states to so the decision lies on this state and then the, the, the second one will be um, the Spanish fund um, honorable uh, honorable sir the, the Spanish fund like I promised to make available all the call for proposal made it was to build the capacity of the civil society in areas of migration and institutional capacity. And I have all those that have benefited in the flash. So I'll do the printout. But the first round of first uh, of call for proposal, may all member states enjoyed it apart from Liberia because they didn't have the capacity to like develop a document that what we now went back and assisted in developing um, a, a, a document so that it can benefit from it. Like I mentioned before I leave here, I will make it available for you so that you can do in Guinea Bissau. But for to know whether your state, because one for civil society, it's a fund that ha we work with within the framework of the donors. Like I mentioned, it's not an ECOWAS wholly own fund. So and if, I don't even know if we didn't contribute much, but we had to work within the AMBI, the framework of those that are giving us the money. And that's make a call for proposal for all member states to look at it. And member states applied. And for those who met with the requirement, funds were disbursed. We have fund management unit that is responsible for day-to-day -day running of, of the funds. And the beneficiaries, the list will be given to you. Then the second to the last question, the common approach. Um, excellencies, we have... Um, been engaging in different agreements, in different plans. You have the Valletta Action Plan, would also state clearly how we're going to work governance, good governance, labor mobility, but also 
The implementation problem is what we have. That's what we have problem. I did not mention some of the processes because she will be presenting on rubber process. And so there's not a dialogue. So I just want to stay within the, the ambit of my, uh, of my dictates. Then um, finally, the, the advice has been taken on this, on this Libya issue. Like I just want to mention that we have attempted as ECOWAS to go to Libya. But another thing again, when we go to Libya, what are we going to do? To tell the migrants, sorry, no. There should be in initiative from parliament to, to make sure that we have a coordinated approach. There are states with a financial model that can get a plane and bring their people back. How about the states without? And that's what we talk about common approach. So if it's agreed that ECOWAS should present a common front and also respect agreement when it comes to that one, that bring in the migrants because according to immigration laws, you do not return people to states that is not yes. If you have a point where they can come in, then you take them if they agree to come back. So it is quite difficult to manage, but I need that parliamentarians can also look at it and see how they can approach uh, this return. But most importantly, let me end with this, um, if you agree, we need sir, to industrialize our nations to stop this. We have been on raw material level for long. For to stop exodus, we must industrialize. We must make sure that people come yet to establish industries so that our youth can get engaged. It will be one of the solutions that we should give partners before you take our raw material, make sure that you, you cite an industry here. Yeah. So this I have to say, and I thank you very much. So, I just want to like um, make it clear, and I have um, verifiable evidence here that uh, we've made two attempts to go to Libya. And the tickets, the IOM chief is here. We, we, and if you, sorry, I, just one minute. So I was responding to your question, to what you raised. We made two attempts to go to Libya with both tickets for um, ECOWAS staff from humanitarian and also free movement. And the chief of IOM here has been there. We've made frantic attempts to get Libyan visa. And it's, you can't believe that for, I don't want to hide it here, for an institution like ECOWAS, we have asked for visa to go to Libya and we are told to reroute it through the African Union and we've made that attempt. I think that here, the IOM, with two tickets bought and we were not able to go. So there's a fundamental problem in this particular venture. So it is quite, I don't want to hide it from you, the evidence is there that there are terms that we have made from our own side to go with tickets bought, donors tickets and we are not able to go. So I just want to put that on record, sir. Thank you, sir. Mon déception dit à Monsieur l'expert qu'il ne suffit pas d'acheter des billets pour aller en Libye. Et oui, ce serait facile d'aller alors en Libye. C'est parce qu'il y a des difficultés qu'il faut résoudre toutes les difficultés pour prendre toutes les dispositions diplomatiques, aériennes, de sécurité militaire et tout pour y aller. La CDAO est assez forte pour pouvoir le faire. Et je pense que il est important aussi avant de quitter que je lève un petit malentendu avec notre collègue de tout à l'heure sur les députés de la CDAO. Je confirme que de par l'acte de naissance et par le règlement intérieur, les députés de la CDAO ne sont pas désignés. Ils sont élus. Et le texte d'ailleurs prévoirait depuis 2000 que nous allions vers une élection régionale au suffrage universel direct. En attendant, la possibilité était ouverte temporairement, transitoirement, pour les faire élire par leur assemblée. Ce matin, à 10h, l'Assemblée nationale du Sénégal a élu les députés de la CDO. C'est pour encore une preuve de plus qu'ils sont élus. Je vous remercie.